is up everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a super exciting one because it has been highly requested for a while now and that is my walk-in wardrobe tour I'm finally getting around to doing it I feel like I'm pretty happy with how everything is looking right now if you guys watch my second channel with my fiance Matt called Roxy and Matt you already know that we redid our walk-in wardrobe a couple of months ago now literally it's been a while and I haven't gotten around to doing this video for a while because I wasn't really happy with how it looked I wasn't happy with how things were organized but finally I have gotten around to doing it and I'm really excited to be filming this for you guys. If you are one of those people that has ever commented on any one of my videos saying that you wonder what my wardrobe looks like then this one is for you. If you guys are brand new here and you haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around make sure you guys subscribe down below. But anyways if you guys want to see what my walk-in wardrobe looks like then let's get on into the video. Alright guys so we are currently in our bedroom. Now the walk walk-in wardrobe is literally attached to our bedroom but if you did want to see a whole bedroom transformation I will leave a link to the video in the corner right there we did actually vlog the whole process but let's go inside the wardrobe <laughs> so we actually made this door um, from scratch so this is really cool it's custom made it just slides to the side we have actually set up a little bit of lighting in here because it is quite a small room we didn't want to like overpower it but this is the room <laughs> on camera because of the wide angle but it is quite a small room and this is actually the loft conversion of our garage meaning that we have this very annoying slope in the ceiling so that made it very difficult to actually like be able to fit any regular furniture into the space so instead we decided to build it ourselves so what we did was we actually purchased the IKEA packs drawers and shelves and we basically built the carcasses from scratch so what you're seeing right here is just MDF board that we picked up from Wix we painted it and we cut it to size to fit around all of these components here from Ikea and I think it looks amazing. It looks like someone professional came to do it and it was just my fiance Matt who's actually behind the camera right now. We also did get the LED lights. These are the Northfly LED lights from Ikea and again, I feel like it really finishes off the space. It just makes it look so much more luxurious than it is. And especially because this whole space is quite small, I really wanted it to be very light and you know, just not like a dark corner. So I feel like the LEDs really help that. Obviously because this room is quite small, we went for a, a very white minimalistic kind of look so we've got the marble floor we went for the white carcasses and also we have this massive poof as you can probably see so I made a boo-boo when I ordered this I thought it's gonna be perfect it's gonna look so nice in this space but I didn't really measure it so it arrived and it's this big and it's kind of taking up the whole floor which is a little bit annoying but I still really like it I am gonna kick it out of the way though because I can't really move around if you guys did want to see the actual process of us transforming this space right here from scratch and I will leave a link to the video that we did on the vlog channel where we did the transformation of this room as well as the bedroom and if you guys wanted to see how to do any of this yourself then you can check that out but in this video I'm just gonna show you guys how I've organized things how I made it look like this and also show you guys some of my favorite clothing pieces that I own and wear all the time because I feel like I do a lot of like clothing hauls but I never show you guys my actual clothes that I wear day to day so I think this is gonna be quite interesting so I guess first things first I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour and talk through each section of my wardrobe and basically just let you know where everything is from so the first thing as you see is a big massive faux plant this is actually from home sense i think this was around 60 or 80 pounds somewhere between that i can't remember exactly but it is so realistic looking i love it i personally can't have any real plants in my house because my cat sky will eat them and i'll probably kill them too so i tend to kind of sway towards the faux plants personally i really like them in the first section we have some dresses we also have a few coats on the end this is like my aesthetically pleasing rail <laughs> this is basically all of my like going out kind of dresses we have some very fancy ones you guys 
guys might recognize some of them. This one's from Fashion Nova. This one's from, I think, Pretty Little Thing. You guys are definitely gonna recognize this one. This is like the infamous Ariana Grande dress. I have quite a lot of dresses, and yes, I do keep quite a lot of the things that I show you guys in my hauls. The next section below it is basically two clear drawers. I decided to only go for two because I wanted that sense of practicality. I didn't want all of my laundry on show, if you know what I mean. So here I just have like my really nice looking jumpers and sweaters. They're kind of from all over the place. This is from Misguided, this is from Primark. I just feel like not only does it look nice, but it's also quite practical to store my jumper so I kind of see what I have and I can just grab it whenever. Same for this drawer. This one's a little bit empty because I have a lot of things in the laundry right now. And then I have three drawers below that. These are a little more like not very aesthetically pleasing. So I kind of keep like my lounge kind of stuff. This is a pair of shorts from Lounge. Um, we have like two pieces, joggers, hoodies, that kind of thing. And I have a lot more, but they're all in the laundry. <laughs> the drawer below that is my t-shirts and tops kind of drawer. Again, this isn't everything that I have. I actually have a lot more, <laughs> which I know I have a shopping problem, but this is how I organize them. I know there's probably a better way to organize them because this drawer isn't actually that deep. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to organize like tops, in this particular drawer set. Ikea does do like the slightly deeper drawers, but this is the more shallow one because again, we didn't really want to have too much of it come out from the wall. So we went for like the smallest one possible. And then the bottom drawer is just my jean drawer. I absolutely love jeans. I basically live in them every day. So I have quite a few pairs as well. Okay, the next section is this sort of like shelving unit right here. I personally love this section so much. When I built this in my mind, I really wanted something where I could display my bags, shoes, that kind of thing. As you can see, there is a lot of nude and pink kind of vibes. I love that kind of thing. You guys know this if you watch my channel. A lot of the things here you guys are gonna recognize from my videos, especially this shelf right here. We have a lot of like quilted faux designer things. I actually don't own very many designer things and I do a lot of these like fake designer videos as you guys probably know. I do actually keep a lot of the fake designer stuff that I show you guys in my videos, especially if they're good. Like all of these are really, really amazing looking and they're so affordable compared to the real thing. So why not? The very top shelf is a little bit unusable. So I actually decided to put like a decorative piece there and those two balls are actually from Ikea. They were really inexpensive and they look really cute there. I'm gonna talk about this in a bit more detail a little bit later on in the video but the next section is this right here. So again, we have two of the clear glass drawers. This side of the wardrobe is actually Matt's side. He doesn't need quite as much as I do. <laughs> he doesn't have anywhere near as much clothes as I do, so that's a start. But we have some jumpers. Again, same as me. It looks very nice, it looks very clean. And in these drawers, he's just got like his t-shirts, boxes, that kind of thing, which I'm not gonna show you guys because it's not that interesting. No offense, Matt. <laughs> So on the top shelf, we have some of my uh, bags that I've had for many, many years. This is actually my first ever designer bag that I got from Matt for my first birthday that we were together, I think. It's from Vivian Westwood. I thought you were gonna say first birthday. <laughs> like, what, you're one <laughs> I gave it to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then that one there is from my parents. Um, I love a bit of Vivian Westwood. And it's actually one of the only real designer things that I own, so I'm really happy with it. We then have this little shelf right here, which is so pretty. I actually need to dust it a little bit. It's very dusty right now. But we have all of our perfumes. So this side is mine, this side is Matt's. Some of my favorite perfumes are the Coco Chanel, Oh, it smells so good. This is my favorite perfume. And I also got this one from my parents for my birthday, literally like two days ago. So really happy with it. The next shelf below it, we wanted one shelf that was kind of like for accessories. We don't really have that many accessories. So I thought one shelf was gonna be fine. So this is what we have inside. Um, we just have some sunglasses, some bracelets. I have a few scarves on the end. And yeah, it serves a nice little purpose to kind of have everything on display. So then in the corner right next to it, we have a lot of pairs of shoes. I have a slight obsession with shoes, I'm not gonna lie. It's shoes and bags for me, really. Uh, but yeah, I have very many shoes. We have lots from ranging from black, white, nude, right at the bottom, 
actually that's probably the only colors of shoes that I wear <laughs> like black white and nude moving on we have this section right here this is a really nice section because I can put my coats in but behind it we actually have more storage because like I said this room is actually a loft conversion so it the walls go like this so there's like a very sharp triangle right in the corners and there is more storage behind it so it's kind of like a secret hideout like once you move the coats out the way there's a little door <laughs> So on the top shelf we have again a bit of a display area we have some of my favorite bags here actually so the first one is a fake chanel bag i actually got that in hong kong for like 10 pounds and it has lasted me for a while now i've been using it quite a lot and it looks very similar to the real thing so i'm really happy with it this one is from fashion nova and the last one is actually the ysl bag that i did actually get from matt again it is a real ysl bag and I don't think it's really worth the money so I actually might end up selling it. We then have another two glass drawers so again this is a little bit more like storage slash display kind of drawers so we have just some empty boxes right now because I haven't got anything to put in there. We also have this fake YSL bag you guys probably recognize that from a video. In the second drawer down we have another box. We have some belts and also a pair of shoes from everything for five pounds. Look how cute they are. They literally look designer. And then in the bottom drawers, this one, we have some underwear and socks. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Then we have some little bit more like extra dresses. These are like a lot longer than the other ones. So I keep them in a drawer. And then the very bottom drawer, we have some skirts, some shorts, that kind of thing. And I just keep that in here. It's kind of overfilling to be honest. <laughs> All right, so now that I've gone through everything and showed you guys a little tour of the wardrobe, I thought I would kind of take the time to go a little bit more into detail with some of the things because I know you guys are probably gonna have a lot of questions. So I'm gonna start off with this section right here with all the bags. So I'm gonna start from the top, I think. So these two bags right here, this one, I'm sure you guys are gonna recognize is actually from Primark. This is such a nice bag. Honestly, it wasn't even that expensive. I think it must've been like 15 pounds and it looks so premium. The one behind it is also from Primark, which I'm sure you guys will also recognize from my hauls. Look how beautiful that is. The bag next to it is a Emporio Armani bag. I actually bought this bag at a Mary Hill shopping center. If you guys remember that vlog, comment down below because honestly, I haven't actually worn this bag yet and I really like it. It's very simple, very understated and it is a vegan leather bag, which is amazing. The two bags below that, again, I'm sure you guys have seen. I absolutely love this fuzzy teddy bear one. It is so cute. We then have all of my nude quilted bags below that this is probably my favorite shelf of the whole wardrobe I honestly am obsessed with every single bag the first one is from Fashion Nova it is so diddy and so cute I absolutely love it the two bags below that are these two fake designer bags I think I got both of these online and I did include them in a video so if you guys have seen that one you're a real one and then the little backpack behind it as you can see is actually from Fashion Nova again it is so cute we then have the two shelves at the bottom that just have four pairs of shoes this pair is from Misguided, this is from Fashion Nova, this is also from Fashion Nova, and then I recently got these, which are actually from Michael Kors, and they're so adorable. The reason why I got these is because they're 100% vegan, they have no leather on them, and they're just so cute. They kind of look like Louis Vuitton espadrilles. I absolutely love the pattern. So as we move on from this section right here, we then have that top shelf once again. So as I said, these two bags are from Vivian Westwood. I'm obsessed with them. We then have two belts on display. These are both fake designer belts. As you guys know, this one it looks so so legit this one not so much because the ggs are a little bit too like yellowy but this looks so freaking legit we then have the shelf of perfumes as i said i would go into a little bit more detail about them so first up we have the coco mademoiselle by chanel we have the daisy by mark jacobs we have the Chance by Chanel again. In the back there, we have the YSL perfume. I actually don't know what this one is called. Do you guys know what this is called? Comment down below. We also have the Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Absolutely love this one. We then have a Tiffany and Co perfume. Again, not sure what this one is called, but it smells so good. And lastly, I have the Lulu Guinness perfume. I actually don't know if they make this anymore, but this is literally the smell of my childhood. I've had this perfume for 
as long as I can remember. I think I must have been like eight years old when I first had it and it just smells so good even till this day. And then in case there's any guys watching, we also have Matt's side of the shelf. So he's got Sauvage by Dior, classic. He's got a Versace one. I don't know what this is called. He's also got the Versace Eros. I think that's how you say it. He's got a Tommy Hilfiger one, Calvin Klein, Armani in the back. He's just got a load of different ones. And then we come to my shoe shelf. This is again, one of my faves. So on the top we have, this pair is from, ooh, Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova. I think Fashion Nova. These are like fake Balenciaga shoes. I think I got these from Wish. Fashion Nova, eBay, Fashion Nova, ASOS. Fashion Nova, misguided, everything five pounds. Fashion Nova, I don't know if you guys can see those ones in the back. We also have these little heels in the back. These are from New Look. I get a lot of questions about these on all of my 50 Halloween costume ideas videos because I always wear these. And the bottom shelf are just my nude little ones. So these are from ASOS. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova. In the back we have some from ASOS. These are from Everything Five Pounds. And lastly, those are also from Everything Five Pounds. Down here we have two pairs of trainers. You guys probably recognize the ones on the right. These are from, I think, Wish again. And then the ones on the left are from Everything Five Pounds. Now moving on in this section, we are back to the coats. I thought I would show you guys where some of these coats are from because I might get some questions. So let's start off with this one right here. This one is from Misguided. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's such a timeless coat. It really goes with anything. This still actually has the label on it, even though I've worn it quite a few times. Is it just me? But when something has a label and you can't like rip it off with your bare hands and you have no scissors around, you just end up leaving it and that's exactly what I do. The next coat we have is a teddy bear coat from Fashion Nova. I love this one so much. There's actually another jacket underneath, that's Matt's. The next item isn't actually a jacket, it's a shirt, but I didn't really have anywhere to put it and I felt like it deserved its own space on a hanger. So I put it in the coat section. This is actually a faux Burberry kind of shirt. I got this from Tokyo when I went to Japan with Mac last year. I'm so glad that I picked it up because I absolutely love buying clothes from different Different countries because every time I wear this it just reminds me of how much of an amazing time I had in Japan. The next two jackets are kind of like faux designer jackets. The first one is this fake Gucci jacket. I actually got this for a fake designer video. You guys probably have seen this already. I just love it so much. And then the second one I got is this one. This is kind of like a faux Louis Vuitton kind of jacket. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this. It's actually from I Saw It First. I don't think they have this on their website anymore, which is so sad because it is really cute. Teddy bear coats. Can you ever have enough? I literally have so many of these that basically are the same, but they differentiate in color and that is enough for me. This one right here is from Fashion Nova and this one is from Primark. They look very similar. This one is slightly different in shade. I probably don't need both of them, so I will probably donate one to charity. I've then got these two jackets. This one is from I Saw It First and this one is from Misguided. I then have two leather jackets. These are like my absolute ride or die jackets. That are faux leather. This one is from Topshop. I've had this one for years. There is a common misconception that faux leather doesn't last anywhere near as long as real leather. And to be honest, this has lasted me absolute years and it is faux leather, so that's amazing. And then this one is so cute. I absolutely love it. It's from ASOS, but it gives me such Chanel vibes without looking like a knockoff. It's so adorable. This again is a faux leather jacket and I love the quilting on it. And the very last jacket I feel like really needs a mention is this one. This is actually a Versace jacket. It is the only item of clothing I own that is actually designer because everything else here is like a fake or a dupe, but this is real and it's probably quite expensive. I actually got this gifted from Versace when I went to one of their shows a couple of years ago and it is just gorgeous. I really need to use it more. In fact, whilst I'm sat here in my wardrobe, I will show you guys a little birthday gift that I got from my parents. This is a new addition to my wardrobe family. I have no place to put it. It's probably just gonna sit downstairs with all of my coats and the rest of my shoes. I got this from that same website that I got my Michael Kors shoes. This is actually a Valentino bag, but it's not the Valentino bag. There's actually two designers that are both called Valentino and this one is like the more affordable designer. So I really, really love this. This is so me. I actually really needed a bag like this because my bag that I carry pretty much to death is a Kate Spade one and the strap 
my dog bit through. So that was so annoying, but my parents got me this and it's basically the same shape, but a different color. This is also vegan leather, which I'm so happy about. And it's just so spacious. I can put my laptop in it. This has only just arrived today. So I thought I'd show you guys because I'm not going to be doing like a separate what I got for my birthday video. So here it is. This is my new bag. All right, guys, so that is it for my walk-in wardrobe tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes of all my fashion videos and fashion hauls. I do end up keeping a lot of the things, but not everything that I show you guys. So this is basically what my wardrobe looks like and how I organize it. If you guys did have any tips for how to organize t-shirts and things like that, then let me know in the comments. If you guys did want to see how this whole wardrobe came about, like I said, make sure you guys check out the video in the eye of the vlog of how we basically did this whole thing again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.